The Cool Contraption Guy with Tom Fox, workshop editor for Boys Quest and Fun for Kids magazines, presents How to Make a Robotic Dice Tosser. The first step is to use a hammer to flatten the end of the motor shaft down a bit. The next step is to drill a 1 16 inch hole about a half inch deep in the center of one end of the wood dowel. You also must drill a 7 64 inch hole about three quarters of an inch deep in the other end of this wood dowel. The next step is to cut a tab in a two ounce plastic cup using scissors. Now as you see from this uh, short video here, you uh, start out uh, leaving a, cutting a little tab and then you, you go around and shape it. So you wind up with a, a little shallower cup and you're left with a tab that will be attached with a screw to the short piece of wood dowel that is attached to the motor. Now drill a 5 30 seconds inch hole in the cup's tab and a 5 30 seconds inch hole in the cup's bottom. As shown, use a hammer to tap the motor shaft into the dowel's 1 16 inch hole. Use a 3 quarter inch long number 6 wood screw to attach the plastic cup to the piece of wood dowel. After putting a 3 quarter inch 632 machine screw through the hole in the bottom of the cup, screw on 5 nuts as shown. The motor will be mounted to the board using epoxy cement. Here we show mixing the resin with the hardener. To hold the motor down while the cement sets, we use some electrical tape. The next step is to make the popsicle stick switch where indicated in this photo. To see how to make this switch, see the popsicle stick switch video on my channel www.youtube.com backslash cool contraption guy. The lantern battery is mounted to the baseboard with two short strips of double sided mounting tape. The final step is the wiring. Here we wire one of the connections to the popsicle stick switch to one of the terminals of the battery. And then we wire one of the wires that comes from the electric motor to the other terminal of the battery. To complete the wiring all we need to do is connect the other lead from the motor to the other lead of the popsicle stick switch. As you can see after we twist the wires together we use electrical tape to secure the wire. Of course the best connection is made when you solder the wires together. However, twisting wires together, then using tape to secure them, is good enough for non-critical projects such as this one. Using the robotic dice tosser is simple. Put the dice in a cup, and when you want to toss them, simply press down the switch. This project makes playing board games even more fun. I hope you have as much fun using this project as I did when I played games with my family. Be sure to see my other YouTube videos 
on my Kukum Protection Guy and Magic on Farms channels. Thank you.